it's Andrea Mercier aka Anne Loma and welcome to my studio. Today we are doing the pour for the winner of my fluid acrylic painting community giveaway. So that wasn't a giveaway on my YouTube channel. It was a giveaway on my Facebook group. We were celebrating our first anniversary and we have almost 9,000 members, so I did a posting and a poll, and a lovely lady named Pat Payne won, and um, we did a client color choice video, which you can see right there if you wish, and basically she picked, this was the colors that we picked, so she's going to do a black background with these three metallics, copper, gold, and bronze, and she wanted the turquoise. So that's what we're going to do today we're going to do that pour and since this is a small piece this is 12 by 16 I'm going to do it in real time and because my studio is being renovated we're going to do it on my desk so it's a little bit crowded I apologize uh, can I back up anymore oh I can back up just a little bit more okay so we're going to do it here now normally I use a background color but I'm just going to use my Liquitex acrylic squeezy just because it's easier to fit on my desk. So I'm just going to put a goodly amount out, spread that out. So this for any newcomers is the lubrication layer. I usually use black or white and it's just so that the other colors have something that they can move on. She wanted something bold, so I suggested a black background. So I just use this palette knife slash dollar store icer. If that's all you have, that's fine. So I'm going to do a puddle pour for this one because I think it'll be a lot more dramatic. So we're going to put down, this is copper down and because this is a smaller canvas I'm going to actually be a little bit generous with the paint just so that we can get a really good flow right off the bat this is a, a 3 8 edge not a gallery edge so once it goes over the edge it should be completely covered probably after my first throw so I just want to get this is bronze I'm gonna get some bronze in there people always ask me what do you think about when you're doing this I don't really think about anything I just let the colors do whatever they want which is kind of weird I used to be a business analyst in my old life and I had to think about everything. Everything had to have a plan. And this was very challenging when I started doing this because I would overthink it, but just put it where, don't even think, just here, this is good, this is good here. And then we're gonna go back to the gold. I want a little bit of gold here, I want a little bit of gold here. I actually want to put a little bit of gold around the outside. Actually, I think I want to do that with the copper too. So for those that know how I make my paints, I make them thick enough so they push instead of mix. You can see right there a video on how I mix my paints. And what I do when I do that is you see the black gets caught in between the two different colors and when I stretch the paint, when I pour, tilt the canvas and pour the paint, that will stay in between those two colors and give it a really cool look. A little bit of blue there. I don't want too much of the turquoise in. I'm actually going to add a little bit of black in here. I want the turquoise to kind of be the the pop color, so I don't want to overdo the turquoise. I'm going to do a little bit more. Well, since we did the other ones, let's do the bronze around like that. 
And let's add some bronze where there's no bronze. A little bit there, a little bit there. And then I'll go add some copper where there's no copper. No copper here, no copper here, no copper here, a little bit of copper there. A little bit here. And then the gold. I think I have gold everywhere. A oh, little bit here. A little bit here. A little bit here. All right. Let's do the first throw. And that's what I call it, the throw. But basically, I'm going to tilt the paint and try and get it to go all over the edges. And again, since this is not a gallery canvas, I expect this to be very successful. Look at that. Look at it go. That is a beautiful thing. And I'm just going to tilt that this way. There we go. Put it down. Wipe my hands. That's cool. Okay, before I decide if I'm going to do anything else, let's take the heat gun. I do that to pop the surface bubbles. All right, and then I look at the edges because sometimes the corners don't get hit. Like there's some black missing from this corner here. There's a little bit of black missing from the corner over here. Um, I think I'll just use some black to pull that down. There's some black missing over here. So what I do sometimes is I'll take the squeeze bottle and squeeze upwards on the edge and the weight of the squeeze paint will pull what's missing down over the edge. Someday I gotta get that on film. Oh, I'm missing stuff on the other side. So I'm gonna pick it up and I'm going to turn it this way and turn it again. There we go. Wipe the paint off on my shirt. Here we go. So we're missing some black here. And I wanna just pull, pull that over by grabbing it with some squeezy paint, some squeeze paint, and then it just pulls it over. And if not, now that I have some paint there, I can tilt it and make it move. And then finally, this corner needs some black. Pull that over the edge. Oh, that is so cool. All right. Let me zoom in so I can show you this because she picked some fantastic colors. Let's just zoom right in. So see where I was telling you how when I pulled the lines through, the black would stay? Oh, you can't see that there. So right here, see that thin black line? That's because I caught the black between a bronze line and a gold line. Same over here. Oh, I think it looks gorgeous. Let me zoom out. Let me zoom out. See how the color changed when I zoomed out? Because I lost my autofocus. This is actually super duper bright. I love it. Now I'm trying to decide if it needs anything else. And I'm finding that this is a lot of blue. So what I'm going to do is there's bronze here. So I'm going to take a little bit of bronze and I'm just going to make a line. And make another line like that. And here is the copper. And I'm just going to make a line like that. And then we're just going to give it a bit of a shake later. And it will even it all out. Like that. And then it also gives it some 3D depth. Right here. This. I need this to go like that. Like that. Oh my god. That, 
this is fantastic. I'm going to actually recreate this with a larger painting because these colors are fabulous. And even though I don't use mediums and I don't add oil, I'm still getting a little bit of cell action going here just as it's separating, which is really cool as well. And I'm just going to like that. There. So then what I do is I just pick it up, give it a bit of a shake to even out those paint lines I just put in. So it all becomes part of the painting. And I'm going to give it a drop. The drop does two things. Once it, it takes the, um, takes some bubbles out, gets them up to the surface and it will even out the paint, especially on the edge. Oh, that is fantastic. I love it. So this is for Pat Payne. I'm not sure what I'm going to name it yet, uh, but you'll know because it'll be in the title of the video. So if you like this real time tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here and join the notification squad. If you would like to get notifications when I put up my new videos, I do try to put them up once a week, but right now I'm in a backlog situation. So I'll probably be putting up two or more per week for the next little while. I really appreciate you being here and supporting my channel. It's always better when you're here. Bye.